Please help support the channel by visiting our Amazon store, affiliate link below. Uh, continuing the Venom discussion, because it, it, it keeps getting weirder. I, I feel like there should be like a conspiracy theory video by Shane Dawson on this. That is how wild it's getting. So this article popped up too, because apparently Venom's first reactions are mixed, as we just covered, but fake reviews by Lady Gaga fans are coming in as a way to dive bomb it as a way to draw a lot of attention to her new movie, A Star is Born, which also opens this week and is being very much looked at uh, as being, you know, uh, like Oscar bait. Uh, so it says here, if you ever search Twitter when the embargo for a highly anticipated movie lifts, you know some people strategically use a popular trending uh, topic to sneak in promotion for themselves or something else. That's a normal social media occurrence, but when it happened with the first reactions of Tom Harding's Venom is not. Instead of the usual noise, there seems to have been a lot of coordinated effort to bog the film down with highly negative reviews. And who's behind this effort? Lady Gaga fans. Lady Gaga fans and the bots they've created are trying to boost the opening weekend box office for A Star Is Born by dragging down its main competition. Why? Because everyone knows that the most likely alternative for moviegoers who are looking forward to a comic book movie about a giant tongued alien is a serious romantic drama instead. And the sarcasm there is, is palpable. But you can see here, you've got this one uh, person here, um, uh, Nikabi Airport Lady Stan, all right, saying, I'm the biggest Marvel fan, but I just watched Venom and I don't know what to say. Easily the worst movie of the year. I expected so much better and now I'm just disappointed. Going to see hashtag A Star Is Born to forget about that trash. And because so many people are going to go see the movie at a premiere and, and, and people from various outlets are going to be talking about it, it would be understandable that something like this would in fact make its way uh, into the trending uh, hashtag and be perceived as being legit. However, again, unless you're really dumb, I don't think you're going to buy that. Uh, so, uh, so, so what do those sincere reviews have to say about Venom? Well, audiences will either look it up or find it. Uh, or whatever, but yeah, so basically though, looking back at this, I don't know how many of these things there were. Uh, there were a fair amount of them that were being talked about. There were a fair amount of them uh, that I heard going around last night. Um, and uh, we'll let's take a look here at the at the video because the video will show a lot more. Okay, so we got CBC. Oh, I see, it's the bots. Okay, so now we get to see the bots here. Uh, so many of these people are copying and pasting the freaking tweet. Uh, trying to get it in there, probably trying to get a star is born uh, trending and trying to really take over the uh, the venom hashtag, um, which I will admit when this was trending last night, I, I had opted out of 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 going on there. Uh, I was watching Netflix. So but yeah, we can see here that there are a lot of people that were trying to do this. And Lady Gaga on social media has a very interesting premise uh, as a whole, considering the fact that she ultimately, uh, I think, has about 50 percent fake followers on Twitter. So that's a real, I mean, that's, there's a real big social media conspiracy surrounding Lady Gaga. Uh, if you want my honest opinion, this is not coming from Lady Gaga fans. The, the Usually buying these sort of things, buying these bots to tweet out the same thing, it costs money. It does, it costs money. And so who would be the people behind it trying to take over that hashtag and to get people to to, to, to not go see Venom because the, the, the early, you know, re reviews, reviews are coming in as terrible well it's the marketing company behind a star is born i bet you if you were to track down whoever was able to make those bots whoever uh whoever put that together probably you would find a paper trail that led you back to the marketing company behind a star is born i don't remember the company that's putting it together but when i look at something like that i can't help but think that that is precisely what they do because that is what happens in hollywood they pay people to promote stuff influencers get paid to promote stuff all the time but when you're really trying to like flood a hashtag and you're really trying to uh, to get something trending, bots are a very good way to attempt that. What the, the way Twitter operates is that it will it, it doesn't recognize that they're bots at first, right? It doesn't recognize that at all. What it does is it it goes, oh, okay, well these are you know uh, this is what people are talking about. This is the hashtag that's going out, and it will start putting it in the trending category for a while. Uh, in hopes that uh, it gets it gets picked up by the brighter by the broader conversation, but Twitter is pretty good at recognizing that all these things are happening because people will also start reporting the tweets for being spam, and then they'll come in and they'll clip out the hashtag from being trending or even being uh, autocomplete when you go to type it in uh, inside of a uh, uh, inside of the uh, the tweet as well. So maybe they're trying to hope 
that uh, that by doing this, they actually uh, fails to make Venom autocomplete. So then and then removes it from the trending hashtag. So then people aren't seeing it. So then whatever's going on is just not being spread around. Twitter has flagged that particular hashtag as being uh, as being fake or as being misleading. And then they take it down. That would make some sense to me. That would that would make some sense to me if that's what they wanted to do. But ultimately, uh, that it also comes across as just being really. I don't know. It's a waste of money to do that. It's a super big waste of money to do that crap. Um, but it also failed miserably. And now we're all talking about it and just kind of laughing going, well, yeah, OK, y'all. Y'all just kind of stupid. Hey, thanks for checking out this clip from Three Buck Theater. If you want to get the full audio version of the episode, you can find it anywhere podcasts are found. If you want to watch the video version of it, head on over to patreon.com forward slash mundane Matt and take a look at our Three Buck Theater perk, which gets you access to the full show that airs Monday through Friday. It's a video version of it. You get to look at this face, talk about movies and, and everything else on the screen. Uh, it's great stuff. It helps out. And I really appreciate the support. Remember to please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys later.